Let us learn about a special time series forecasting method, forecasting using linear trend projection. Linear trend projection is a forecasting method that assumes that there is a trend line in a time series. A trend line will display data that increases or decreases at a specific and steady rate like within a specific timeline. Linear trend shows steady straight line increases or decreases so the trend line can go up or down. That means that linear trend forecasting is a great tool for predicting what value something will have in the future. To forecast data using linear trend analysis, also called linear regression, we use the linear trend line equation. The linear trend equation is y is equal to a plus b times x. However, before you can use the equation, you have to solve for b using this equation and then solve for a using this equation. Let's have a sample problem. First, we have to tabulate our data like this. The given data in column X is the number of weeks. And Y is the actual data for weekly demand. We want to forecast demand for period 11 using linear trend equation. We add two more data columns, X squared and the XY column. We get the data for the x squared column by squaring the data from the x column. We get the data from the xy column by multiplying the data from the x column with the data on the y column. Then we get the summation for each column. The summations will be used for the formulas. Now we solve for b. n times summation xy. N is the number of data, so we count the data under the period column. And in our problem, it is 10 for 10 weeks. Minus summation X times summation Y. Now divide this by N times summation X squared. Minus summation X, then we square it. Careful with this. This is where most mistakes are committed. This is not just summation x squared, but the summation of x squared column, and then we square it or multiply it by itself. Now we plug in the data for the equation. Now we solve for A. Summation Y minus b times summation x. Of course, we already know the value of b. Divide this by n or the number of data. Now we substitute the data to our equation. Finally, we can use our trend line equation. But what about the value of x in the formula? We substitute the period to be forecasted. In this case, it is 11 since we are forecasting for period 11. That ends today's lesson. 
please visit the Classwork section of our Google Classroom to access the activity. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless.